action hey i recorded a video two days ago or a few days ago the number 19 where i said that uh, if you want to pay by result you need microtasking and then i shared it on facebook and one of my readers vladimir said that uh, microtasking is a great concept but for junior developers only and this is a very typical um, comment which I hear from programmers, uh, my readers, on the conferences, in many places. People who don't know exactly how microtasking works, they keep telling me that this is something similar to micromanagement, where the management tells programmers what to do every second minute, and programmers are just like monkeys sitting writing those code. They don't see the global picture of the project, they don't see the entire scope, they don't understand what the product is for, they don't know the needs of users, they are just being code writers, not software developers, they are not proud of their work, they are just uh, creating the code and this is perfect for junior developers, people who don't care what they write, they just need to get some money and to get some training and to get into this uh, uh, profession, so they, uh, and they are okay with microtasking. And this is absolutely not true. It's not true because in my experience, which takes the last four or five years of microtasking, I can tell you that microtasking doesn't work for junior developers. It's difficult to do microtasking. Only a senior developer can actually do that. And I can explain you why. There are a number of things which uh, a junior developer doesn't, just doesn't know how to do. Let's start with branching. When you work with microtasking, you have to uh, contribute your code in uh, multiple pull requests at the same time. And to do that, you need to have multiple branches in your repository locally. So you need to know how to manage those branches. You need to know how to resolve merge conflicts. You need to know different Git merge strategies. How many junior developers actually know how to use Git in general? How many junior developers know actually how to merge branches and rebase branches and how many of them know the difference between these two? You need to be professional in order to be able to work in multiple branches. Let's take scope control. A microtasking means that uh, you get the task and you get the fixed micro micro budget. And sometimes the budget is smaller than the scope of the task. And you need to find a way how to break down the larger piece into smaller increments, which you will deliver incrementally. Something you will deliver now and something you will uh, leave for, uh, for future developers who will come after you. Not so many professional developers know how to do that. Juniors absolutely don't want to know that because junior developers are too afraid of the technical problems. They, they want to learn how to code in Java. They don't have time to learn how to manage scope and how to deal with the complexity which is too high for them and how properly break it down into elements. For them, for juniors, it's important to just stay in the office for the full day and learn the actual programming skills. Professional developers, they have the luxury of uh, having an ability to start managing themselves, of managing their own time, of doing their own self time management. This is what a professional programmer, programmer can do. A junior just don't know how to. I'm not saying junior developers are bad programmers or bad people. Not at all. They're interested to grow. They're interested to learn. But they, they are still need to learn that. Let's take the pipeline, which we require all programmers to pass through before their changes actually get into the main source repository and to the master branch. So as a programmer, you have to make sure that your code goes through the pipeline and all the tests and quality checks and static analysis and uh, multiple code reviews, all of them say OK, and then your go code goes to repository. And you're alone on that. Nobody's going to help you. You have to make sure that everything you do actually is good enough for our quality controls. And you're alone in that, and you need to be professional enough to actually make sure it happens. Junior developers, they, are, uh, they raise their hands quite frequently and they say, I don't know what to do next. I don't know why your quality controls are complaining so frequently. So just please help me. Please somebody come and help me and tell me what to do. But we in our model of uh, microtasking, we don't help anyone. We don't provide those help. We don't provide training. We just leave you alone with the task and say when the task is completed, you get the money. How many junior developers will be comfortable with that model? None of them. They want to get their money by the end of the month. Because they make many mistakes, they're still junior, they're still not sure that their code is good. 
and their code is not good. They need help. They need constant supervision, mentoring, coaching, and all that. Professional developers, they can work independently. They can make sure that requirements they see in front of them are satisfied, and then they get the money. How to deal with dependencies? You cannot resolve all of the problems by yourself. Sometimes you will have something which needs to be resolved by some other programmers or maybe in some other projects. Maybe some open source stuff will not work. Some library will have problems. And within a really small micro budget, with a really small micro task, you have to know how to deal with those dependencies. How to make sure that uh, this task is on hold for some time and then something else will be resolved. And then I get back to my original task and then I continue. So you have to deal with dependencies. There are multiple dependencies. And that's going to be frustrating, and that's going to be quite annoying, and that's going to be quite stressful, if you are, especially if you are a junior developer. If you're a senior, you'll be more relaxed, and you will know that those dependencies will eventually be resolved. It just needs some time. You need to keep track on them. You need to, uh, to look around and see how they are being resolved. So you need to do the management work, aside from code writing, when you do microtasking. When you don't do microtasking, when you just sit in the office and you get paid by the end of the month, you can be more relaxed. Because in that case, all those problems will be solved way easier. There is no pressure on you. Nobody is asking you to complete microtasks with a specified or required speed. You can do whatever you want. The month is over. You get the money. More or less okay. With microtasking, the stress is way higher. The speed of development expected from you is way higher. The amount of money you're supposed to get is also supposed to be way bigger than comparing to the amount of money and stress you get from a more relaxed traditional management mode. So microtasking is not the same as micromanagement. There are two different things, even though they start with the micro prefix, uh, but they are absolutely different things. I will explain that in one of the next videos. And the feedback I'm getting from programmers who work with microtasking for many months or years is very positive. They are saying that uh, they are more interested to contribute to the project, they are more motivated, they are more energized, they are more excited, even though I don't like this word, but they are more into the project when they work in a microtasking model. Speaking about professional developers, if you ask a junior developer, they will tell you that the model doesn't work. We tried to work with junior developers. About four or five years ago, we thought that maybe if we have micro tasks, we can outsource them to really junior developers, pay them really small amounts of money, and they will return back the results. It doesn't happen. They try. They make an honest attempt, but they cannot deliver, and we don't pay them. We don't get anything from them. They don't deliver anything. It's a lose-lose model. They don't deliver. The project doesn't lose money, but nobody wins, and they just walk away. So we tried with junior programmers, no success. And then we decided that we have to work only with senior developers. And now it works because senior developers, they can, like I said, tolerate the stress and tolerate the, uh, the complexity of this management model. So this is my answer, Vladimir. Microtasking is not for juniors. It's for senior developers. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.